Comes with the manual, lanyard, USB Type C to USB Type A cable for charging, and the SC33. Comes with the indicator here that we need to remove the plastic layer in between the battery and the flashlight fixture. And there it is, we have to remove that. Let's take a look at what we got for our battery. Sulfur and rechargeable. 21700, 5000 mAh, and it does not look like a button top, it looks like a flat top. Soft click, turn it on. This flashlight takes approximately 2.5 hours to fully charge from 0% capacity. You can see here that there's an LED light. If I were to turn on the flashlight, it's going to illuminate green to let you know the charge status is good. And if I were to take and uncover the protective USB-C port for charging and use the included USB-C cable that came with the flashlight, you can now see here that the LED indicator is flashing red to notify you that the battery is charging. One thing to note is that once the flashlight is charging and plugged in, you cannot turn on the flashlight while it's so there's no pass through light when you're charging the flashlight. So you have a grand total of six different light brightnesses and you also have a strobe mode. You can cycle through the middle ones which are eco, low, medium and high. So in order to do that you turn on the flashlight by clicking once and then you hold down the button again to go to the next one. That's going to be low. It went from eco to low and now it's going to go from low to medium and then it goes from medium to high. Now, in order to get to the moonlight mode, you have to turn off the flashlight by clicking once, and then you hold down the button. That's the moonlight mode right there. Now, if you want to go straight up to turbo mode, you double click. That is significantly brighter than all other modes. It might not show up on camera properly, but there is a massive difference going from just high to turbo. If we were to click the flashlight three times, that gives us strobe. Click once to stop. And then if we were to click four times, it states in the manual that that locks the flashlight. So if I do that now, it blinked twice. When I try to turn on the flashlight, it just blinks twice. It won't turn on. That's letting you know that the flashlight is locked. However, if you hold down the button in a locked state, it looks like it goes into the moonlight mode. Now the next function of this flashlight is kind of interesting. Um, once you have the flashlight on, you click four times, it blinks twice, and now it's gradually getting brighter and gradually getting dimmer. So there's no step up. So now while the flashlight is on, if I want to go back and I do four times, four clicks, it blinks. Now you see the step up where it goes low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Now, while it's on, you have to click four times. One, two, three, four. It blinks twice. And now you can have it progressively get dimmer and progressively get brighter. So if you want to find like a happy medium between one of the light modes or the light brightness levels, then you can do that with this flashlight. 